This is by Russell Kemp. It's called Why Not? Since you are a child of the infinite, why not choose to believe? Believe what your heart says is waiting. Believe what your mind longs to do. Believe that your Father in heaven is prompting you and strengthening you. Believe in your infinite background. Believe in your own inner you. Believe you have infinite daring to do what you are longing to do. My dear friend, if you are troubled or concerned about anything in your life or anyone, I'm going to ask you to ask yourself a question. Here is the question. Who is in charge? If we had only our human powers to rely upon, if everything depended upon us alone, well, then we would have reason to feel anxious or worried. But who is in charge? God is in charge. Let us remind ourselves of this continuously. If appearances are distressing, if we're faced with a situation that we do not know how to handle, let us say to ourselves, God is in charge. Let us give thanks that God's Spirit is at work in this situation right now and in all persons involved, that God can be relied upon to bring things about right and in divine order and to bring right answers and good solutions. And if we're concerned about some member of our family or some person and we don't know how to help, we don't know how to give direction, what can we personally do for this other person? Well, God is powerful to do great things for this other person. Let us say in prayer when thinking about this person and beginning to worry, let us say, God is in charge of your life and affairs. I trust God to guide you, to bless you, and to reveal to you the way of your highest good. Who is in charge? God is in charge. And I pray that God is in charge of every moment of every day of your life in 2010.